Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have yet another thrift haul for you. I know that I said that I wasn't going to be doing another one of these for a while, but I went out of town for a doctor's appointment a few weeks ago, and so I decided to check out some of the local thrift shops where I went. And then I also had a random day off of work, and so I decided to venture out into the wild yonder of Goodwill to see what I could get, and I like hit the jackpot on so many wonderful things, and so I'm really excited to share them with all of you. Again, don't expect more of these, but I mean, you know, I said that last time and look what happened. So maybe this will just turn into being more of a thing than I expected it to be. Also, it is like 95 degrees here. My house does not have air conditioning. It is like hot as heck. I have a fan going. If you can hear that in the background, you're just gonna have to deal with it because I've been like sweating bullets all day and that's just the way it's going to be. Um, I'm also, I'm not going to do a try on of the clothing items that I got just because it is so hot and it gets just really hot and sweaty taking clothes on and off. So maybe later when it's a little bit cooler, I'll do some kind of a lookbook with some of these items. But until then, you're just going to have to deal and imagine what they look like. So I have broken things up. I have fabric, accessories, and clothes. So we'll start with the fabric first. So I think that I actually got all of these when I was out of town and I'm really excited to eventually, now that I have a little bit more downtime since it's summer, survive the 2021 school year. I can't believe it. Um, so now that it's summer, I'll have a little bit more time to sew hopefully. So I'm excited to figure some stuff out with these. This first sheet I got is this really pretty, not quite mint green, I don't know. Just a really pretty green and purple fabric. The print and the weight of it kind of reminds me of like the 1940s cold rayon you see um, in a lot of dresses from that era. I don't think it's actually that old or actually even rayon, but it kind of gives me that kind of a feeling. So I would love to do something 1940s with it at some point. I don't know what these are. They might be little bunches of grapes. Not sure, but very cute. Then I got another vintage sheet, and I thought this one was kind of unique. Let me unfold it here so you can see it in all of its glory. So it's a little bit like impressionistic, I guess. I don't know if you can see that well, but it has kind of a garden print with some little like, I don't know, tulips, daffodils maybe, and some grass. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this just yet, but I definitely want to make something that will really um, allow the print of this sheet to shine because I think it's really cool. Okay, and this is more of a modern sheet. It's not vintage. Actually, it might be a duvet cover now that I think of it, but I just thought it was a really, really fun, big plaid. And I would love to make a really fun jumpsuit with this. And there's a lot of it, so I think that if I have the patience and if I have the time, I can even make sure that the stripes all match up and everything. And I think that this could be a really, really fun jumpsuit, especially if it was paired with like a really fun, brightly colored blouse underneath it. So I'm very excited to use this. And this is just a classic vintage sheet. Nothing too special. Um, it's got some pretty yellow roses on it, nice white poly cotton, and then along the border there's some nice white and yellow lace, which I'm not sure what I will do with this one either. It's a little bit plain, but something just like simple, maybe just a simple 1950s style dress out of this fabric. I think would be really fun. All right, and then last but not least is some fabric that might look kind of familiar to you if you look behind me. So this is the exact same one as the sheet that I used for my backdrop, except this is in the like blue, green, purple colorway instead. So not again, not sure what I'll make with this one. Maybe a jumpsuit. We shall see. But it was just like too much of a coincidence to pass up that I got the same sheet in a different colorway. So that is all of the pieces of fabric that I got for this particular haul. So I think that next I will move on to accessories. I'll kind of breeze through these because I don't know, like accessories aren't that exciting. 
well, they're exciting, but there's not a whole lot to say. So I got this really fun pink hat with a black, I don't know, scarf tied around it. And I'm not wearing my hair the right way for this to fit right, but I thought that this was just a really fun accessory. It makes me feel a little bit like Madeline from the Madeline children's books. Wrong color, but it's the same style. So maybe I could do like a Madeline closet cosplay or something like that. Okay, and then I hit the tie jackpot. So I will just kind of hold these up quickly because like, I don't know. If you're somebody who's very into historical men's fashion, I'm sure there's more stuff to say about it, but I'm not one of those people. So got a red tie, thought the polka dots were fun. My guess is this is maybe 1960s based off of the label. And I got this fun tie. I think this is probably modern, but I thought that the bright blues and yellows and oranges were really pretty. I got this tie, which I think is probably 1970s. The funny thing is that this was with the women's accessories because apparently men can't wear flowery ties or something, whatever. Ties are for everybody, flowers are for everybody, but I thought this would be a really, really fun one. Then I got this modern tie from J. Crew, and it actually has the price tag on it. And it apparently originally was $79.50, which is mind-boggling to me. Maybe shows you how much I actually know about men's ties, but I got it for $2, so I thought it was a pretty good deal. It's a really good quality hefty tie. thought it was really pretty. Then I got just like a simple black tie, just like an easy thin accessory to add. thought this tie was really cool. So I think this one is, it must be older. Yeah, I would guess like 50s or 60s, but it's kind of like a knitted sweater tie, which I hadn't seen before and I thought was really cool. And then I got this fun tie with some kind of like Olympic torches or something on it. I guess this is probably 1950s. This is fun. Okay, and then the last tie I got... I think this is probably also 50s or 60s. I thought it was cool because it was kind of straight across the bottom. And I really like the different shades of green in it. So those are the ties I got. And then I got another jewelry box. I thought this one was really pretty. It's like a necklace hanger. I got this for $3. It has some really pretty flowers on the front. And they are not hung up well right now partly because I don't actually have the vertical space for this at the moment, but I'll figure it out. But I got a bag of what I'm guessing is 1950s costume jewelry. So I got a pretty, whoop. Got a pretty pink necklace and kind of a jade green and a red one which has kind of some interesting like thicker strands of beads in the middle i thought that was fun and a blue one and these necklaces all came in a bag together i think for something like ten dollars so it was a pretty good deal and someday i will actually get my act together so i can have this set up on a vanity or something, but today is not that day. But I thought this was really pretty. Okay, and that's all I had for accessories. So we can move on to clothes now. I got kind of a mix of modern and vintage items, but I got some like amazing vintage finds. Like usually my Goodwill store doesn't have this many vintage things, but I think I just, I got lucky. Must have been somebody was clearing out their closet or something, and so I wonder if a lot of them were even from the same person. I don't know. Um, but this is more modern. I'd say like 80s or 90s maybe. It's just a fun navy blue corduroy skirt with some buttons down the front. Very versatile. Can definitely do lots of different things for it with it. So I liked that a lot. And I also got Another corduroy skirt. I love corduroy skirts, especially in the fall. Except this one is a pretty kind of like bottle green color. So I thought this was really pretty. 
And then I got a couple of vintage blouses. This one is 1960s and it is too big for me, but it was in the clearance section, which tells me that they were about to get rid of it. So I felt okay about buying something that was too big for me. I'll just add a couple of darts down the back so it'll fit me a little bit better. But I thought that the pattern on it, these kind of simple, I don't know, strawberry blossoms and cherry blossoms, I thought it was just really pretty. Okay, and now we are on to the most exciting things that I got um, on one of these shopping trips. Like I said, I usually do not find this much amazing vintage stuff at my Goodwill store, but I think that, I don't know, there must have been somebody who was clearing out their closets and decided to gift this stuff to the community, and I'm very grateful for them. So I will save the best for last. But I got a bunch of vintage sleepwear. A lot of it's kind of like 1960s style. My mom said it was frumpy and a little bit like old lady pajamas when she's not wrong. But I think that this stuff is just really really pretty and it's also really comfortable especially some of the cotton nightgowns I'm going to show you. But the first one is this just nice nylon light pink robe. Buttons down the front. Really pretty lace detail up at the chest. This makes me feel very glamorous when I put it on and walk around the house. Wish I had more robes like this, but they're usually pretty expensive. So that's why I was so excited to find this at my Goodwill, because I think this was something like $6 or something like that. Um, so very lucky. So this is like a long ankle length nightgown. That's got some really pretty lace details up at the top. It's really comfortable for sleeping in, but I I think I could also make this work as like just like a regular piece of clothing if I accessorized it correctly. So I'm excited to figure that out. So really pretty. This is probably the one I've been using the most. It's lightweight. It doesn't stick to your skin. And it's also really pretty. It's got some like pretty flower details at the front. I hope you can see. Kind of like an eyelet and then just like some really nice lace around the arm holes and the um, neck hole neckline um just details that you don't really see in garments anymore um so yeah makes me feel very glamorous that this is what i'm sleeping in these days and this one is another 1960s nightgown this one is really really fun because it has some like baby pink buttons all the way down the front. And it's got some really pretty lace details across the chest. So just a nice simple floral pattern and also just like so comfortable. It even has a pocket which is super useful. Love it. Okay and so now the last thing I got, I was like this was the first thing I saw when I walked into the store and I grabbed it right away. It is this wonderful 1970s really groovy plaid suit so we got some pants and we got this really amazing matching blazer so this is very loud i know that this kind of suit is not going to be everybody's cup of tea but it is my cup of tea this will be so fun in the fall and like christmas look at that Super, super fun. I got this for $15. I was completely amazed.